难缠的局面。对许昕龙说：“那要做好这样的准备。”来，你教我一个 grounded pivot attack。Its advantage is that it looks pretty cool. I'll demonstrate the grounded pivot attack for you. This isn't something the average person can master. Even professional players may not know it. Face this way. Stand there. Film from this angle. When is it typically used? It's when the shot is out of your body's range and you still want to use your forehand. But while moving, you can't hit the shot. You have to rely on inertia, and at that moment, you can't recover. After looping, you have to move this way. And when your opponent returns it, you can't respond. That's why, after a grounded pivot attack, we don't worry about the next shot. To maximize the power of this shot, we channel all of the inertia into this shot. Serve, please. Under spin shot. Wait until his shot is released, then I move. At this position, you can see this isn't something the average person can master. I'm just demonstrating for you. I'm standing at the forehand position. He serves to my backhand. The shot comes, then I move. I can still full power drive. See that? That's the grounded pivot. Got it? You won't be able to learn this. Don't bother learning it. Even many players on the Chinese national team can't do it. You have to hit along with the inertia. You can give it a try. I'll teach you. Just don't end up teaching everyone watching the video. Stand in the forehand position. I'll serve to you slower. Okay, that feels right. When doing the grounded shot, don't pivot too fast. Remember, the shot will always land eventually. Don't move. Watch how long it takes for the shot to land. It actually takes quite a bit of time. You've got that time. Don't rush to hit the ball. Yes. Your pivot can be even more stylish. Let me control the shot a bit more. Yes, exactly. Do it as gracefully as possible. Your fundamentals are really solid. Forehand footwork, you learn it instantly. Your footwork and forehand skills are excellent. Let's do another one. Why did you miss that one? Your only problem now is your overall frame. Everything else is fine, but you're not controlling the ball well. You're not keeping control of the shot. Yes, that's much better. Yes, that's enough. You see, Coach Wan can do all of this. Soon everyone will be able to do it. Teach them more. They really like this. Let me show you my normal pivot attack and help me check it. All right. Watch Coach Wen, everyone. His whole legs, waist, and hands are actually pretty good. Do you know what the only issue is now? The follow through is too big after the loop. When you loop the ball. Your movement is like this. The power isn't concentrated enough. Let me show you how my loop. Hit the ball and see how it feels. Mine is more stable. See, when you loop, it feels like this. Your follow-through movement is too large, and the power gets a bit dispersed. Even the naked eye can probably see it. Look at how my loop feels. Coach Wang, there's a bit of this sensation that the power isn't concentrated when contacting the ball, right? Yes, exactly. There's still that sensation, right? Hey, you, try hitting two more. Impact combined with friction. Too much focus on impact. Try again. You'll get it instantly. With your fundamentals, you'll get it right away. Add more friction. Still too much impact. It's about combining impact and friction. Add a bit more friction. Nice shot. Yes, that's the feeling. This kind of concentrated explosiveness also gives more stability. Exactly. Don't hit the ball too close to the tip of the racket. Aim for the middle. That's a good shot. You got the feeling now? 
See, you hit too close to the tip again. Just brush the ball. And show everyone after the loop. Why did those two loops go long? The power was strong. The speed was fast. But you hit too close to the tip of the racket. Nice. See that feeling? The contact point is definitely in the middle. Yes. This is good too. But the contact point is still a bit near the tip. I don't even need to look. Nice. Let me tell you, these two shots feel much better. Even though that loop was fast, the risk was high. Show everyone where the contact point is on the racket. Let them see. The best shot is the last one. You can see it here, right? The last one is here. Coach Wang's contact point is near the tip. The earlier contact points were here. The best one was here. Yes, in this area. You can all see, in terms of skill level, I'm definitely higher than Coach Wang. Because our fundamentals and understanding of the ball are pretty much the same. In table tennis, it's all about the legs, waist, and hands. The understanding of the ball is all there, but at a high level, it's all about the precise contact with the ball. At the highest level, it's all about that contact with the ball.难缠的局面发球我這邊其實都想要在一個比較快一點去出手了好了中路短的快劈底線 周乔这个球就是想要一板过的球啊是一个倒地的抢攻啊这一分哦这个就是许昕的特点就是说正手许昕呢被称为天下无双一旦侧身大家看一下动作极其的舒展全力爆出这杀伤力是太大了你 By joining my membership, you can watch more than 10 videos in advance and access 30 professional tutorial videos by Fang Bo. These videos cover everything from beginner basics to advanced techniques because it's possible for him to push it to your forehand area. Ensuring you'll find the skills you need. The cost ranges from $1 to $3, depending on your region. Thank you all for your support.